my stamping friends, I'm Sandra at artypapercrafters.com, an independent stamping up demonstrator. I have a video tutorial for you today, but today is the 1st of September and this little autumn winter catalogue goes live for customers who would like to purchase anything from it. This is the catalogue, it has lots and lots of things for Christmas in it. This one is called the Christmas Quilt Photopolymer Stamp Set. You've got the Quilt Builder dies with lots of matching things to go with that. You've got a Christmas Stamp Set here um, called Ready for Christmas with um, stairs and garlands and all sorts of decorations. So lots of lovely stamp sets here. This lovely one here for Christmas, which is Lemon Lime Twist teamed up with black. I think they look fantastic together. Love that colour scheme. Really lovely. And you've got a beautiful um, punch that matches this stamp set called Merry Little Labels. That's going to be really useful for gift tags and easy things like that. Love that. You've got this gorgeous little Christmas stocking where you can put little uh, treats and things for Christmas, gift cards. You could even make your own advent calendar with that. How quirky would that be? So there's lots of Christmas goodies in here as well as autumn things and I'll just fast forward to the autumn things because today I'm sharing with you this set here which is called the Painted Autumn Sweet. There is a stamp set, there are matching, there's a stamp set with a matching punch, there's Painted Autumn Designer Papers, there's the Burlap Ribbon which matches it, um, lots of um, touches of nature elements, uh, wood flowers and leaves, so pretty. And so this is the set here. Um, the Painted Harvest set. I've made these cards. We're going to make a card today. I'll show you these first. I've made this and I think that this is cards for men. So often we neglect the males in our fat lives. We never think to make a card for them but I think that this is a perfect set to make cards for men. I know of one particular um, male member in uh, my family who loves sunflowers so this is going to be perfect for his birthday um, and that uses male colours I've got this one with the happy birthday popped up on um, some foam fun foam and then this one here that I am thankful for you where I've cut out some of the DSP to make that one this is the, an idea in the catalogue. I cased that um, with the crushed curry baker's twine and I stamped my sunflowers out and popped them up a little bit um, with some extra dimension for the centres. Um, did some stamping on that. And then on this one, oh, I enjoyed making this one. And this would be perfect for a man. I really do think it would. Gorgeous male colours and little acorns, perfect for the autumn. And my sentiment, gather together and give thanks. You, you could just give this to anyone for the autumn. They'd love it, they would really love it. And I know that my auntie would love to receive this card. She would just uh, love it. So today we're going to make this one here. Should you wish to see me make any of the others that I've shown you, let me know and uh, I can probably do a video for you. Um, so we're going to make this one today. Um, quickly I want to show you these new acetate boxes. These are the new acetate boxes. You can fit four or five cards. Now I've got a lot of dimension on my cards so I'm just going to pop four in. But I've got four envelopes in there and four cards. They fit perfectly and you could easily give those as a little gift. These little acetate um, boxes. They are really thick and sturdy. They fold together like that and they measure. They are a C6 side 
and they measure nine nine sixteenths of an inch by six and a half by five eighths, which is one point four by sixteen point five by one point six centimeters. You get ten of them in the bag, and honestly, they're such good value for money. Really are. They work out to be something like 55 pence each. I mean, that's an amazing amount. Um, and they're so thick. They really are so thick. Really are so thick. And they make up very e uh, quickly too. Fabulous. And I had another idea while I was filling them with my cards. What about this idea then? That you give somebody a card and I think you know where I'm going with this, and you pop in some chocolate and you give them that as a gift and you wrap that round all prettily. What about that? Fabulous idea, don't you think? Great idea. So anyway, without further ado, let's leave the chocolate to one side, eat that later. Let's get on and make our card. So today we're going to use obviously this sweet. I've got a piece of Cajun craze which measures eight and a quarter by five and three quarters and I've um, burnished that, folded that in half like that. I've got a piece of pool party, no soft sky, piece of soft sky which measures five and a half by three and seven eighths inches, that pops on there. A piece of very vanilla measures five and a quarter by one and three quarters and that pops on there. I have got a strip for my sentiment um, which measures three and five eighths by three quarters of an inch and a strip for my sentiment which we'll stamp later which measures three and a quarter by half an inch. I've got a small slither that goes across the middle of my card and this is just a piece of an off cut. It measures five and a quarter by a quarter of an inch. Um, all the measurements by the way will be on my blog along with the measurements in centimetres. I've also got a piece of DSP that goes across the bottom here which measures five and a quarter by one and three quarters. So let's put that together because that's an easy thing to do. So let's layer up all our layers. So let's get the fast fuse because it's going to be so much quicker. So let's put that layer that up on there onto our piece of soft sky. Like that. Straight. Then DSP goes across the bottom and you can see you've got pumpkins on here too. So really um, great DSP with an autumn feel. But today we're doing this to be a manly card and I think that this, these, this colour scheme works perfectly for a man. Put a little strip across. We need a bit of wet glue for that. Don't go too mental with the glue. Just pop a little bit along the edge. And stick that across the DSP. Let me just see if that's straight. I don't want wonky. That's nice. And then we're just going to layer that onto our card. So far, easy. So, right then. The next thing to do is to do our sunflower. Now I've already prepped up my sunflower. Um, 
because I have done um, a sunflower with you before um, on another blog but what we're going to do today I'm going to use early espresso and I'm going to cut out the center again stamp that on and I just keep going over it until I get it nice and dark because that's how I want it for my sunflower so I've stamped on there five times and then with my scissors I'm going to cut that out and that doesn't take too long to fussy cut that out doesn't have to be perfect and that goes on the middle there you can see that that does add something to it when it's raised up so let's um, I've stamped out two of her leaves um, I thought I'd done three can't find the third one. What happened with it? I know I had three leaves. Well, I thought I had three leaves. Let me go and see if I've got... Oh, I can see it. I've left it over there on the table. I have three leaves. Now, there is a matching punch with this set. Um, matching leaf punch. I stupidly didn't buy it before my videos, so... I didn't save 10% on buying it as a bundle, so I'm not happy with myself about that. So that's a lesson to be learned, buy things as a bundle, save 10%. Right then, let's get the um, happy birthday. Oh yes, we want to stamp happy birthday because this is for a birthday. So let me get my Big On Birthdays stamp set where I got the sentiment from because we want to stamp Happy Birthday. So that, that's the Happy Birthday stamp. Layer that on there. And we are going to use, what should we use for the sentiment? That layers onto there like that. So we are going to use... Tangerine Tango for the sentiment. So let's stamp our sentiment. Happy birthday. And stamp that down on here. Sorry if I get my head in the way, but I need this to be straight. Perfect. Like it. Um... So now we're going to layer that up on here. I'm going to put some tails on this. So to get tails, you snip down the center and then you go from the outside edge in and that gets you your tails. And then to match this up, what I like to do is put that on the end there so that you've got that centered up. And then go down the centre to where you want it to end and cut your tails like that. And then that is a good way to add a quirky edge to your sentiment. Like that. I'm going to pop my centre of my flower. This, by the way, was stamped in Tangerine Tango. The first... The first layer was stamped off, and then my second layer was full strength, Tangerine Tango. That's my center, which I'm going to pop up on a dimensional, like that. Like that. 
Right, so let's glue this together. Right then, so we're going to pop our sentiment up on our card with a couple of dimensionals, like that, and that's going to go there. Sunflower on here on a couple of dimensionals. And that gets added about here. And then we're just going to add the rest of our leaves um, and fold them in. And if you want to give your leaves a bit more dimensional, just give them a lift, push them in the middle like that to give them more lift. in at an angle and I think that's an easy little card to make and I do love this sunflower it's gorgeous and where should we pop this one should we have it the same as that like that like it and I'm going to be adding a wink of Stella because I do like a bit of clear wink of Stella on my projects. Give that a nice shine. And add a little bit of something. And that is our card finished. And I like both those colours, they're great. So that finishes the little card, like I said. All of these cards were made with the same stamp set, so you can see the possibilities. They're really lovely, lovely cards to make, especially for males. All the DSP you've got looks very manly, and I think that they're great for men's cards. Don't forget, these acetate boxes are also available. £6 for 10 brilliant value for money. Don't forget you can also wrap chocolate and put that in as a gift as well as a card. Um, you could put a gift card in as well so that would be a great idea. So don't forget all these products that I've demonstrated today are available to purchase on my website at artypapercrafters.com. You can click in the little um, down arrow see more bar in the corner here or subscribe to my blog if you'd like to see more of my videos I have almost 200 of them now so there's lots of ideas for you there of things that you can make with this stamp set I've recently made a little mini box um, to hold three by three cards or gift tags so lots of ideas and inspiration on my blog um, all the measurements will be there in inches and centimetres. So until next time, it's bye for now. Bye!